So a couple of months ago, I posted this to my Instagram and it is a Schwazi drawing. This is a visual representations assignment I had during my first semester at UPenn. And I just want to clarify, I did not create this assignment. My instructor, Brian DeLuna, did. But I got the request to actually walk through how to make this drawing, the Schwazi inspired drawing. And here is a tutorial for you all. Now, what is a Schwazi drawing and who is he? August Schwazi published a two-volume book about architecture back in 1899 and in this book he created and crafted an entirely new architectural representation style which combines multiple types of architectural drawings into one singular drawing so he would superimpose a plan with a section and it, it almost models a chunk of a mass. They're absolutely beautiful and it lets you as the viewer understand interior spaces a little bit better with these types of drawings. Schwazi specifically developed this kind of drawing style to better understand vaulting and interior spaces and I think this is a great drawing representation style that you too can incorporate as an architecture student in your own advanced building design, whatever you're doing. Also, please note he used a lot of hatches, very good line weights, and projective geometries all in one form, one final drawing. It's absolutely fantastic and I would encourage you to check out that book that he wrote and look at other drawings that he produced. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to join one plan and two sections into one singular drawing. Now this drawing was completed for my flow project, which if you're new to the channel, I have a bunch of vlogs about me crafting and working on flow from last semester. Flow is basically an expansion of Penn Museum and the idea there was having the circulation from the people actually craft the geometries present in this expansion part of the museum. Also keep in mind, it's not just architecture schools that are requiring these very unique drawings. Schwazi drawings have also been used by professionals. Rafael Monio, he actually crafted his own Schwazi drawing for the National Museum of Roman Art in Spain. Architects still use this drawing all the time and it's really, really great for you to learn how to do one. These drawings allow you to show complex constructural systems at work. Basically, it just allows the viewer to better understand spaces. Without further ado, we'll hop right into the tutorial. So your first step is to completely model everything in Rhino. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a bunch of clipping planes to determine what kind of view and site chunk you are going to take. And this chunk model that you're going to further refine is going to be that 3D model that we derived this Schwazi drawing from. So here you can see me, I have three clipping planes, one for the bottom, which will show the bottom part of the plan, and two for the sides, one for each section. Now I just did it super orthogonally to the site and the existing geometries. You don't really have to go crazy here. I think the Schwazi drawing in and of itself already provides so much detail, so I wouldn't go on multiple angles of your clipping plane. I also want to make a note here, I don't have a basement so I will have to model that out. You can't really fake it in a 2D drawing so that's why I recommend always 3D modeling out absolutely everything. So after modeling that basement <laughs> took me two seconds, not really. I just don't have a time lapse for it. Anyway, everything below that clipping plane line, I hide it. You can see I already added some 2D elements because in the end, it is a 2D drawing. You can kind of play the system a little bit. So if it saves you time, definitely I encourage you to do that. I should clarify as well, anytime when I am referring to the clipping plane, I am referring to where I ended up splitting the geometry. I use the split command and the plane command to split out everything. If you are confused as to how to do that, please go check out my floor plan tutorial where I go more in depth about that. So right now what I am doing is I am establishing a good view. Now it's not a true 
axonometric drawing and you can just kind of fake it. So that's the axon or the iso, I forget which one, and see how awful it looks? So that's why I recommend going in perspective and instead of morphing your geometry like I did here using the shear command, I would actually encourage you to go through in a perspective view, always, always, always save your view. I will say it again, save your view. When you make 2D from a saved view, it will always be at the appropriate scale. And here you can see I also included my entourage because I do want to make 2D all of my 3D figures in here. The more detail you have, the better, the cooler it looks. Another thing to show is hatches. Definitely apply all of your hatch work onto the 3D geometry instead of trying to apply it to the 2D geometry. So hatches in Rhino are a funny thing. You will be able to apply it to a planar surface but never a doubly curved surface. So please just keep that in mind if you do have very orthogonal geometries. If you do have orthogonal geometries, I would just recommend doing a contour. Contour is super simple. Just type in contour and the magic happens. So your next step, your next move is definitely going to be one, making 2D and two, rendering out shadows. If you have V-Ray, just do a raw shadow render out or you could just use the arctic mode and render out that way if you don't have v-ray the most tedious step of it all is definitely going to be cleaning up your line work and geometries it will take multiple passes i'm going to show you the first pass when i take it into illustrator i also want to make a point to make sure all of your geometries are separated onto individual layers because when we take all of this line work and import it into adobe illustrator it is absolutely critical that everything is separated on different layers that way you can adjust the line weights and make a very legible drawing another last minute detail you can add is overlay the existing organic geometry that you sliced off right there. Overlay it and make it a dashed line. It gives you more information about your building. So here we are in Illustrator. You can see the underlaid render that I just image traced. Did a black and white image trace. Super easy to do. I then adjust the line weights. Your cut line is going to be the heaviest as you know. Hatch is lightest. All of your details should be pretty light. And there's that dashed line. It gives you more information. Now because it is the first pass, I wasn't careful enough to really clean up the geometries. And you can tell it doesn't look great. And in the final iteration, you can see such a difference. So for your second or final pass, it might take you a couple tries to get there. Definitely go back to Rhino. Be super critical about what you trim, what you keep redo your shadows make them harsher here you can see i selected similar at by appearance and did the fill in illustrator as a pattern it adds more information and value to your schwazi drawing the entourage is the correct line weight the furniture that was modeled in 3d is cleaned up it just looks significantly better than the first pass and it will take some time but i think the most important tip i can give for you is make sure that your cut line is the thickest and it's legible because there is so much information you definitely need to have a strong contrast there's going to be stuff in the background that slowly fades and it's just going to take a lot of trial and error it's going to take some time take a deep breath it'll definitely pay off here you can see what the harsh shadows actually looks like and that's that basic image trace if you can't access that image trace window just go up to window image trace they have all the settings there it's fantastic it is a great tool to use and then just try everything out i definitely think if you struggle with this drawing in the beginning you'll learn a lot and here you can even just see the quality of all the hatches that are there that are all layered on top of one another once again just adds more dimension into your drawing and that's what we're really striving here for so at the end of the day you produced a beautiful schwazi drawing it takes a lot of work a lot of effort so make sure you allot enough time if you do want to do this for a final review to make sure you execute it with due diligence and i think you have a beautiful drawing to later add to your portfolio 
So I hope this helps out and let me know or tag me in Instagram if you yourself do a Schwazi drawing. I realized I never actually did that. Hey guys, it's your girl Nat here intro. I don't know if anyone noticed or anyone cared, probably not. Anyway, my name's Natalie. I'm the creator behind Unraveling Architecture. That's it for today's video and I hope to see you guys next time. Love you guys.